everyone, welcome to the Theatre Cafe on this sunny Monday afternoon and we are very lucky to have been joined today by the full cast of Lonely Planet at Trafalgar Studios. Welcome guys, lovely to see you. Just tell us who you are. I'm Aaron, uh, Aaron Budweiser and I'm playing Carl. I'm Alexander McBorn, I'm playing Jody and understanding Carl. Yes. <laughs> not, not actually. <laughs> so it's a very special production this one in the lead up to Pride here in London. Yeah. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, about the play? Yeah. All right, well, uh, Lonely Planet is set during the 80s, uh, the AIDS epidemic during the 80s in, uh, in America. It tells the story of Jody and Carl, uh, two friends. Jody owns a map store, and he's slowly distancing himself from the world and his friends outside. And Carl is his constant uh, visitor and slash friend and slash em uh, nemesis, who uh, continually comes in and starts bringing in chairs to try and convince Jody to... Uh, come out of his shop, and uh, kind of why, and what the chairs mean, and why he does it, that, that's the secret, that's why you need to come and see it, um, yeah. And it's been going really well already, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been good. Um, when did you open? We opened two weeks ago on this production, but we also ran for three weeks last year at the Tab Barn in Chiswick, mm. and so then we transferred this year in the lead up to Pride also, because last year we were at Pride time as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's helping to raise money, isn't it, as well? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, so um, as, part, as part of, the, like you said, London Pride and everything, um, kind of the, the subjects that it raises, and uh, we all felt that it, it had, it's an amazing play in itself, but it also had a lot of value, additional values to, to add, so we're doing a lot of Q&A sessions. We've had three so far, we're gonna have four more there uh, on every Tuesday and Friday, uh, with people who either went through the AIDS epidemic themselves in the UK, or doctors, um, you know, professionals who dealt with the disease or were there at the time, and so they're there to talk to us about it and to the audience. And we're also fundraising for both the National AIDS Trust and the Terence Higgins Trust, both charities that are doing amazing work for people who are living with HIV, HIV um, doing immense, uh, amazing, amazing, sorry, work um, both uh, kind of in pushing forward uh, agendas and stuff like that that would help people who are living with living with HIV, so um, I feel like we're doing a lot of extra things as well, which are fantastic. And I mean, it's a really powerful subject to be covering, isn't it? What's it like, you know, tackling that in this in this theatrical setting? Well, on two show days, I have to go for a run between shows to get, like, the anxiety out of my body. Because normally I bike everywhere, so I can bike home after the one show days, and then that, like, winds me down, and then I'm ready for bed. But uh, it's putting yourself in the place of, of people that are living at a time where there's this sort of mis still mysterious disease. I mean, at this point they had named it, they knew what caused it, but there still was no cure, um, and there was still the stigma attached yeah. to it. So you're, you're living in this world of fear, and so as an actor you have to live that, so you don't get to go, just go dance. <laughs> uh, so you can see him after the show just completely pent up with all the anxiety he's built up, and then he's like, I'm going for a run. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're doing, fine. <laughs> What's it like just the two of you on stage as well? And it's an extremely intimate space, so you're, you know, you're, you're this far away, mm -hmm. aren't you, from the audience? Yeah. Well, I, I, I love it, and I think Alex loves it as well. And uh, well, maybe, hopefully. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, except for that part, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but it's just also very interesting because we done it at the Tabard before, and it was just. Um, Frontal, so all the all, all the audience was in, was in front of us, full front, full front, exactly. <laughs> um, and whereas this time it's it's thrust, so we have them on three sides, and it's completely. We both feel that this time around we're putting a lot more energy in it because Alex was saying it feels like it's it's a forty five minute take in film or TV because there's no way you can show yourself away from the audience, so you kind of have to constantly be there. And I, at least I have moments where I go out, I have you know scene changes, stuff like that. Alex is on there for the whole, the whole, time. The whole time. So there's only one scene change kind of where I'm on stage and he goes out, finally. And, and that's, <laughs> that's, his, that's his one thing. So uh, yeah, I have a couple of br breathers, but Alex is on there all the time. Intense. Intense. Yeah. <laughs> Full frontal and thrust. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, you sold it to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys. It's on until... The 7th of July. The 7th so of that's July, the, that's the and day. that's the weekend of Pride. Yes, exactly. In, in the West End. So you've, you've heard it here. It sounds like a fantastic play. We've put a ticket link into the post, so you can click on there and grab your tickets. And in the meantime, thank you so much for coming in to join thank us, guys. You. It's been amazing to meet you and chat thank to you. Thank you very much. And I hope it all goes well. Yeah, thank you be. very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you.